Hey everyone, this is Thomas with SketchUp Architect here to talk about the differences between SketchUp Pro and SketchUp Make and hopefully helping you determine which one is right for you to be using. So let's go ahead and see the differences between these two programs. If we go to SketchUp.com, we can access their help center which has a detailed list of the differences between these two programs. First off, I would say that these are both great programs that allow you to do a great deal of 3D modeling. You can see right here, both of them allow you to create models of buildings, furniture, interior, landscapes, and more. So there's really not a lot of limitations to how you draw and uh, create models with these two softwares. Uh, if you're into 3D printing, it, both of them will let you do that. And they'll actually both allow you to import models from other 3D modeling programs. Now, where it gets a little interesting is where we get down to some of the importing and exporting functions of these two programs. So right here is a huge one if you're in the architectural or engineering field, importing CAD files. With SketchUp Make, you cannot do that, and you cannot export CAD or PDF files. So that's a huge deciding factor, whether you're getting Make or Pro. If you're using it for architectural purposes, you definitely want to stick with pro if you're doing uh, maybe just modeling of just single objects you may be okay just sticking with the make version also another big one is creating animation videos of any size while make may let you do a certain size with pro there is no limitations to the size of videos that you can create um, another one is using solid modeling tools again with pro you can use them all with make they are going to be limited or not at all and another one again exporting files with uh, make you cannot do that pro does allow you that and the last one is terrain satellite imagery with geolocated models this is a big one SketchUp actually integrates with Google Earth and allows you to import and export your model and import terrain from Google Earth, which is a very uh, neat feature, useful feature if you want to see your model on an actual site and its surroundings. So there you have it, just a quick run through of these two products. And one more thing that may help you decide is that with SketchUp Make, it is a free program. So that's a huge benefit and a huge plus if you're just trying to get to know SketchUp and learn a little bit about it, definitely start with SketchUp Make and get yourself familiar with using this. So with just getting on their website and answering a couple, you know, easy questions and putting some email information, you can download SketchUp Make. Very easy. Now SketchUp Pro, if you want it, you can get a free trial for 30 days and you'll have access to all the features. After those 30 days, it will stop working and you will either have to go to make or buy the full version, which currently is for sale for only $6.95, which is not a lot of money for a 3D modeling software that allows you to do as much as SketchUp allows you to do. So there you have it. That's my quick run through of these two programs. I think if you're in the architectural field or engineering or interior design and you're going to be integrating with CAD, you may want to stick with SketchUp Pro. If you're just doing modeling of simpler objects or just single things and you don't need to be dealing with uh, CAD files, you may be just okay using Make. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my page on Facebook and stay tuned for more information on upcoming videos and courses. Thank you.